So I've got $90,000 over there doing that and then $10,000 in the account. So again, uh, if I've got $3,000 worth of risk, then you see now I can afford to move my position size up, meaning I can trade more lots at one time. Now, you know, if I had 10 regular lots on uh, and I'm still risking the $3,000, then that means I can I can that means in a real sense ten regular lots I can risk then thirty pips, okay? So with the forex market, there's a, a a real reason to not keep a lot of money. Uh, but since I've started uh, back started back trading futures, sorry, I'm still kind of uh, hyper from the call. Uh, since I'm back trading S and P futures, back trading the Dow. I've really started to question why do I do that and I've started to dig into my trading a little bit more. And like I was telling Jim today, that's caused me that now to start dealing with some of these issues that everyone is dealing with because I, I am now out of my comfort zone. You see, the normal person, the, the average Joe off of the street, if you will, who comes into trading they're they're going through certain emotional and psychological things with the market. You know, it's not just as easy as pushing a button. I, I wish it were, folks, but it's not. Uh, and that process of learning what it means to be a trader, what it means to be an investor, that, that's not going to go away. You know, it doesn't matter if you're using the in insider code system or some other system. If you are the one pushing the buttons, it's going to be your psychology. It's going to be your mental game that will either help you or hinder you in the marketplace. So uh, anyway, I was, as I was talking to Jim, I was going through some of that, um, and I was relating to him some of my experiences. One of the things we started talking about, uh, it, yes, I'm going to make this into a trading lesson. Don't worry, even though I've been blabbing for almost seven minutes. One of the things that we started talking about was Jim was expressing to me, he's like, you know, Mac, I can get in, you know, I'll get in up here, and then I'll exit right there, but I'm leaving all of this trade on the table. And I said, you know what, Jim, I've noticed that I'm doing the same thing in my S&P trading, where I'll get into a trade, I might exit with three, four, five points worth of profit, but then the move is 30 points. Or the move, uh, in fact, I was buying the S&P around 1325, uh, intending to trade up to about 1360, and it did it. it you know, 40 point move. Now granted, I made, uh, I think, 15 or 20 points on the way up, but the bigger move, I missed. So I got in with, a, and again, I'm, I'm using a larger